Hi, welcome to this Broward Multiple Sclerosis website. And we're going to be talking about on this video multiple sclerosis, what could be causing your multiple sclerosis, and exactly what needs to be done to investigate it and help you get relief from your condition. Let me start off by telling you who I am. My name is Dr. Lonnie Herman. I practice here in Broward County. I did go to school to become a chiropractor first. And quickly after school, I realized that chiropractic, even though there are good chiropractors out there, chiropractic uh, was really not designed to um, really look into the, in great detail what's causing somebody's condition. I was helping people or trying to help people with chiropractic care where I just wasn't getting relief for people with different neuropathies, with MS, with, uh, with, with certain chronic ailments. Uh, about two years ago, I went back to school. I'm getting a PhD in functional neurology where we actually look at the brain in great detail and what's going on in the brain and how the brain needs to be um, helped and supported so that these chronic ailments like MS uh, won't cause the type of disability that it can be causing in you and your life and your whole family and friends' lives. Um, we're going to discuss what I do that's completely different here. Now, along in school, in, in neurology school, I have a mentor, his name is Dr. Karazian, Dr. Datis Karazian. I've taken all of his courses, college accredited courses, and one of them is called Functional Blood Chemistry Analysis. Another one is called Functional Immunology. Another one is called Functional Endocrinology. Another one is called Brain and Neurotransmitters. And another one is called Mastering the Thyroid. So we have a very comprehensive uh, educational system that will help us understand all the different parts of could, what could be stressing your system. Now with multiple sclerosis what we understand with patients who I've met here is if it's advanced enough when they run a brain MRI or a spinal cord and brain MRI you're going to find white lesions, white spots in the brain. That normally occurs after the disease has been developing in the body over a certain number of years. There are people who have come into my office who haven't been called uh, or, or labeled MS because they don't find the white lesions on the brain, but they're still exhibiting the same kind of symptoms or motor and sensory malfunctions as a person with a chronic, more chronic MS or the labeled with MS condition. So the, the, the other person may be, just be called with neuropathy or maybe they're called a chronic inflammatory demyelinating polyneuropathy. In any event, it's all the same condition. And what you've got to understand about MS is MS is an autoimmune condition. Autoimmune conditions like rheumatoid arthritis and lupus and Sjogren's and Addison's disease, they all have the same basis, the same foundation of a problem, except these conditions affect different areas of the body. I have also have some articles out of Brain Magazine and out of the Journal for Neurological Disorders and Stroke Disorders that point in the direction of what the cause really is or the most likely cause is behind your MS. But one thing is for certain, it is an autoimmune condition and you've got to go to somebody who understands autoimmune diseases. Not just to say, well, we find these white lesions in your brain and try this medication. And for some people, maybe the medication works. But for others who come in here, and if you're watching this website, you or a loved one is suffering and suffering terribly with this condition, and the medications are not working. Okay? And I'll show you after this video is over. There are testimonials of patients who have gone through my care who are actually walking and feeling and functioning and have reflexes and have libido back and can actually walk normally out of a wheelchair without a cane, without a walker. It's real, folks. There is a reason for your condition, and it is not because you don't have enough of the medication that they're giving you. I'm not telling you to get off your medication. I'm not even working with you yet. But when you understand this, hopefully you're going to make the right decision and help yourself get well. What makes us different than any other doctor you've ever seen? We look at your MS condition or any other autoimmune condition. We look at it metabolically, and we look at it neurologically. And I'm here to tell you that when we evaluate you, there is no stone left unturned. And because of that comprehensive, complete analysis of your systems, I can tell you, you will get better faster in this office with these methods that we use. I'm going to address why my, practice, why my program is so unique 
and how I successfully help you get relief for your condition. First, we've got to understand in your body you have a neuroendocrine immune axis. That means that your nervous system, your brain and your spinal cord and your nerves all depend on and are connected to your immune system. And your immune system depends on your nervous system. And your immune system and your nervous system are all directly connected to your endocrine system. There could be hormone imbalances that are related to immune cell flare-ups that cause your brain and your spinal cord and your nerves to not function well. We'll get into that and how we test it in just a moment. We've got to run specific metabolic testing and treatments. Specific metabolic testing. We go over, first of all, we have, a, and that Brain Magazine article I mentioned before, there will be a slide of that in just a moment, but the Brain Magazine showed that in people with amyotrophic lateral sclerosis, or ALS, like Lou Gehrig's disease, which affects the body and shows white lesions in the brain, just like MS, and causes paralysis or debilitating pain and malfunctions in your body of the upper and lower extremities, Brain Magazine showed that when there was an immune attack in the intestinal system, and it showed that there were these, these, these immune cells that were eating away at the villi in the intestines, that it caused white lesions in the brain. And we have actual pictures of those MRIs here in the office, where the white lesions over time were getting worse in this patient. He was losing control of his right arm and right leg. He had no reflexes, he had no function. He was becoming paralyzed. And it was all because the immune cells were flared up in the intestinal system and drove the brain not to be able to function or live normally. So we go through a three-part stool analysis test. First, we're looking for a DNA type in your intestines. We're looking to see if there's a celiac sprue in the intestines. We're looking to see if there are immunoglobulin cells that come out in your stool that tell us you're having reactions, immune cell flare-ups called cytokine flare-ups caused by food sensitivities in your intestinal system. You can find that out with doing a very comprehensive stool test. There's another stool test that we do that will point out if you have other antigens or other invaders in your intestinal system. One is a parasite. We're going to look to see if there's bacteria. We're going to look to see if there's fungus, if there's yeast problems, if there's an absorption problem, if you have inflamed intestines. We're going to find that out through a specific comprehensive stool analysis test. And there's a third analysis that we do with the intestines. We want to find out if your intestines, imagine these are your intestinal walls, if they've actually split apart here. And this we call leaky gut syndrome, where whatever is bad for your body, if there are certain, there are substances that are left over that your body can't digest, if there are parasites, yeast, fungus, and things like that that are getting through these little now leaky pores, get into the bloodstream, and they go up to the brain, and they stress the brain. And it causes the brain tissue to necrose or become sclerotic. Multiple sclerosis, which means sclerosis or sclerotic or death of tissues in multiple areas of the body. Okay, depending on how long your condition has been going on, may cause the condition to take a little longer and get any relief, but relief you can get. So we look for these different sensitivities. We look for the different GI tract uh, uh, inflammations. And if you want to see the research, I've got the research I can send to you or give to you in, in, by hand in my office of the brain journals that have shown what is causing these white lesions in the brain and how people have had relief by doing simple dietary changes, but once we understand what's going on in your system. I am certain your MS is an autoimmune condition and you need to figure that out. How do we figure out if you have this immune stress, let me find the right slide here. Your immune panels are the most important thing because your MS, we will find out when we run these three kinds of immune panels. One is called immune cytokine testing. The second is called lymphocyte subpopulation analysis. And the third is called natural killer cell activity. When we're looking at your immune system, we're able to understand in great detail are you either falling into what we call a T helper one cell type of dominance or TH2 or T helper two cell dominant problem? You're either gonna, you're gonna be in one or the other, TH1 or TH2 dominance. When you're in TH1 or TH2 dominance, simple things can flare up these immune cells that are stressing your system. These immune cells are called cytokines. And simple things like mushrooms, 